Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Prison Tycoon Under New Management. And there are no prizes for guessing what this game is about, because obviously it's a prison builder game. Of course it is, the clue is in the name right there. So we need to build ourselves a prison to keep troublemakers in, and we have to stop them from getting out, because, you know, that's sort of the point of a prison, isn't it? That's kind of what they're for, keeping people in and not letting them out. That's the kind of definition of a prison right there. But of course there are rooms to build, there are items to place, we need to hire some staff, we have to provide food, we can try to rehabilitate the prisoners, we control the security, we do all the things that you would expect from someone who is running a prison, but it's all a bit tongue-in-cheek. It does not take itself too seriously. As you can see on the screen, the graphics are a little bit cartoony, I suppose. If we had to compare it to something else, I would say they're a bit like Two Point Hospital's graphics, and some of the rooms are a bit daft as well. There's a zero-gravity therapy room and a dancing therapy room, both of which sound marvellously silly indeed. So yes, it's kind of a light-hearted take on prison management. It's not a super serious prison sim, and it's also in early access, so this is not the finished version. There might be a few bugs here and there, and there might be some bits missing, but there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below if you're interested, so you can go and check it out if you would like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go and lock away some criminals in our brand new prison. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is choose where we'd like to build our prison, and we can build it in one of these five kind of environments. We can build it either in the taiga, I think that's pronounced correctly, I think it's taiga. That's just kind of like grassland, isn't it? Lovely temperate grassland. We can build it in the tundra, we can build it in a desert, we could build it in a swamp, which does not sound very good. In fact, the opening lines on the little sort of text there says, a cursed swamp, yeah, maybe we won't build over in the cursed swamp, or we could build over there on a lovely tropical beach, which does sound very nice, but as you might expect, all of these different areas have their own kind of pros and cons. So, for example, the desert. It's obviously very warm there in the desert, so people are less likely to get colds, so they're less likely to get ill, but water and medicine are quite expensive because, you know, water is quite hard to come by in a desert. Now, tropical does sound appealing. What is the bad thing about tropical? So, energy is cheaper because we get it from the sea. That's quite nice. The bad thing is that we're on island, so food supplies are more expensive, and also the banks of this place have the worst commissions of the country. Okay, maybe not. It sounds lovely. Look at it. It looks very nice. Golden sands and lovely blue sea. I think, because, yeah, this is the first prison we've made. Let's just go and start it in the lovely, nice, generic taiga surrounding. So a perfect place to start a prison for the first time. Absolutely. The air is fresh and pure, with very sunny and pleasant summers, while in winter it is covered with snow, leaving a beautiful landscape. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Let's start out in the lovely countryside. And we've got to enter a game name. Now, I imagine this is the name of the prison. If it's not, we'll go for that. And we're going to call it The Cupboard, because, you know, typically cupboards have doors that you can shut, a bit like the prison door. So we'll call it The Cupboard. And I like the idea of people going, oh, you're off to prison. Which one are you going to? Oh, I'm going to The Cupboard, mate. Oh, blimey, going to The Cupboard, that kind of thing. I like that. So yeah, we'll go for The Cupboard, please. That can be our prison name. So here we go. And we've been welcomed by this person just here, who I assume is a builder, because, you know, they've got a builder's helmet on. Safety first and all that. Very good. So it says, Welcome to Prison Tycoon, under new management. You can build the prison of your dreams. I can honestly say I've never dreamt of a prison before, but okay. Manage the employees that make it work and manage its economic aspects. The objective of the prison is to house prisoners. Yep, yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm following you so far. And rehabilitate them so they can be reinserted into society. All of this in the most fun, efficient and profitable way. And now you're in charge. Where do we start, boss? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like there are some sort of, you know, goals up there. So maybe we'll try and head toward those. And here we go. So here is our prison. I think another pop-up might appear momentarily. There we go. We can move around and such like. Right, now I can confirm spacebar is pause. We're going to get along just fine game. So let's take a look at what we've got. Let's take a look at our prison as it stands right now. That is it. It's not a grand place right now, but we can buy extra bits of land. So how much does it cost? 10,000 to expand the prison out onto another plot of land. We do have, if we look up here at all of our sort of our stats and such, we've got almost 90,000 monies. We've got 89,250 money. Why that's not rounded up to 90,000, I do not know. We seem to have 3,150 energy just kicking around the place. We've got a bit of water, we've got a bit of food, and we have some medicine, and we currently have Hardly any prestige. We're level one. We have ourselves 1,820 out of 7,000 experience. Okay, right. Let's have a little look around. So we've got ourselves a bit of a kind of the end of a train track just there. And then it's just sort of nice, nice farmland and some, some lovely sort of woods that way. There's a farm over there. It's all very nice. And then in here, just empty. Nothing within the prison boundaries. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's that? 
there's like a little oh, okay there's a car park there's a staff car park that's under the ground and then what do we have right now we've got ourselves a kind of you know way in there are some are they real guards no they're just <laughs> they're like sort of cardboard cutout guards just stood by the door just looking a little bit kind of a little bit menacing there okay um and then we've got ourselves kind of a holding area just here and then, I don't know what that is, like a sort of a processing area by the look of it. So they'll get processed over here, walk through this sort of detector, and then into the main bit of the prison. So here we go. I mean, let's get building. Let's get building, shall we? So it says there, build one common building, build two cell blocks, and increase the prison population with two new prisoners. Okay, I think we can manage that. I think we can muddle through with that. So hang on, how do they get out? Right, so there's the door. There is the door. So it makes sense if we were to put our sort of main sort of cell block area over here so i think here we go to here we go to create building and there we go romeo barbosa pops up to help us understand this right so we sort of it snaps to various grid things we can't put it there because it's too near whatever that building is and we can't put it right next to the fence so okay we'll have a bit of a gap so minimum required size is 16 by 16 i mean how about we just make that as big as it can be right we can't put up against the fence why don't we make that... How about we do that? That's going to cost... That's not very expensive at all. I thought it was going to cost loads, but it's not even 3,000 money. Let's make it one notch bigger. Let's have that. So 3,504 of our money can go on that. There you go. And look, the sort of the building pops into existence. It sort of pops in and wobbles about. It's you know quite sort of cartoony. And then we'll just have the door right there. So opposite that door, where they come through, we'll put the door just there. Um... What is this? Oh, some sort of power. Some sort of power. Okay, yeah, let's let's plug everything in. There we go. Right, so that's now plugged in. And then we have ourselves just this common building. Now, I think we're getting paid for that because we met a goal. That's all very good. Um, and then we have all these rooms that we can put in. Um, can we put in another door? That might be quite good. An isolation cell block. I wouldn't mind just another door. Just another door kind of on this side or something would not go amiss. But okay, Joe, you know what? Never mind, never mind. Right, I think then... We need to get some cell blocks. Let's get some cell blocks in and then we can get some prisoners in and then we can see what we do. Um, so um, these are insertable rooms into the main common building. I did see, there you go, essential rooms. So cell blocks, isolation cell blocks, showers, restrooms, infirmary and a dining room. Yeah, okay, they all sound like kind of important things but cell blocks first. So let's get some of these in. So if we drop that in, I mean, how big do these need to be? How big can they be? They can be huge, but I don't think we necessarily want them that big, do we? I mean, how about we make them... Uh, how about we do like that? Because then it's next to the door. Okay, so that's one... Is that one cell? Or is that a cell block? I think that's one cell. Yeah, okay, right. So that is one cell for one person. Okay, ah, right. Okay, and it's telling us what we need to build. So we have a bed. Okay. And, okay, a toilet, right? And then we need to connect that to the power. Okay, so there we go. So that cell there, okay, they, that might be a bit big. That might be a tad big for a bed and a toilet. They can run laps around it or something. Ah, we can add more things. Okay, so a cell desk. Do we want to add a desk? Uh, there's a door, there's a window, and there's a wide window. Do you know what? Let's have a nice wide window at the back. I'm sure that's fine, isn't it? It's not an escape risk to have a, a window in a cell. There we go. Let in a bit of air and light and such like. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll give them a desk. A simple table with a comfortable chair. Why don't we put a desk in as well? There we go. So pop a desk in, put it against the wall, if only to use up the space, because we have got a lot of room in here. Now, there are lots of other things it looks like we can build, but, um, yeah, we need to be higher levels of prestige. Oh, there's a teddy bear. <laughs> there's a teddy bear. I don't know what that is. It looks like that. What is that? Like a radio or something? I can't quite see what that is. Oh, there's a, there's a trash can. Let's put one of those in as well, just to make sure the cells are nice and tidy. So there we go. Right, so we've got one cell done. So then, can we can we copy the cell? In fact, no, let's not copy it. Let's make it look... Uh, oh, hang on, where's the thing gone? Let's make it look a little bit different. So we'll have that one the same size. I'll put the door in the same place. But then let's rotate this one round a tiny bit. And let's have the bed just there. Let's have the loo over in that corner. Let's connect that to the power. And then let's put the desk for this one all the way down there. There you go. We've completed the goal. And then let's get a nice big window. Let's put that one over the bed as well. There we go. And 
Yeah, a trash bin. How about that goes at the end of the bed? There we go. Just a little bit different. Just, you know, switch things round a bit. Right, so now we've got those in. Now, what were the other what were the other essential rooms? Um, showers. Yeah, showers and a restroom, I imagine, are going to be quite key. They're going to be quite important, aren't they? So I imagine, yeah, if we get ourselves another couple of cell blocks going along there, maybe we could have... Um, hang on, yeah, hang on. How's that going to work? So could we have ourselves a shower room over in this corner? Sort of like that? Yeah, so we have a shower room there, and then we can have a corridor kind of running through the middle, because I do like a corridor. Uh, put the door in. Uh, okay, so it's like shower cubicle type things. Okay, all connected to the power. There we go. And what else can we put into here? I mean, again, some windows. A wide window. Is it is it a wise idea to put a wide window into a prison building? <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking maybe a small window might be better, because you're less likely to try and climb out of that one. Uh, let's put in another shower thing. Do you know what? Let's put three in whilst we're here. Let's go crazy. There we go. Um, and, oh yeah, like a nice a nice trash can. Put that under the window, just, you know, in case anyone's got any rubbish, they can pop it into there. Okay, that's good. And then, I think, I think it would not go amiss to get in a restroom. Let's get in some, uh, let's get in some toilets, I think. We'll put that there, because I think the shower room is a bit too big. So we'll put this here and hope that the loo is sort of an okay size. Uh, we'll put that there. Right, and it's just, okay, right, it's just sort of uh, cubicle stall type things. Okay, so that one there. We'll have one there. We'll have one like that. And we will, do you know what? We could put a window in, couldn't we? Let's have a little window. Let's have a little, okay, we can't have a window just there because it's not allowed. No windows in the bathroom, <laughs> which doesn't sound great, does it? But never mind. Um, okay, a little sort of uh, waste paper, rubbishy bin thing. We'll have that as you go in the door. Or as you come out, or you leave the room just there. Okay, right. So now we need to get our prison population increased and we need to hire, not hire, build a divan therapy room and hire a rehab specialist. Have we got all the key rooms in? Have we got all the key rooms in? Uh, we need to get ourselves an infirmary and a dining room. I think a dining room is going to be quite important. Let's get another cell block in. We've got loads of money. Let's put another cell block in like that. That might mean we can have three people, three prisoners. And of course, prisoners bring you money because we get paid to look after them by the state or the county or wherever we are. I don't know the place. Right, connect that up. Thank you. And in here, let's have a desk. We'll have the desk up. Don't know where should we put the desk. Up there, facing that wall. And then we'll have a nice barred window above the desk. Lovely. So you can you know, write poems and look out of the window. You can look at... I mean, mostly a wall. There's a tree. You could look at the birds on a tree. That's kind of nice. And then we will give you a bin as well in that corner. Okay, there we go. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. So let's move time on and just see what happens. Because we haven't got any staff yet. Don't we need some people? We might possibly need some staff. We're also going to... Yeah, we're consuming quite a bit of... Well, not quite a bit. We're consuming one power. But when people move in and start using things... We're going to start using up power. So I imagine we're going to have to generate power at some point. Do we have power generators in order to maximise that? Because, yeah, now it's ticking down. Um, do we need to open the prison or something? I don't really know. <laughs> Can we speed time on? Okay, nope, that's that's the power overlay. Ah, right, okay. So pressing sort of one, two, three doesn't change the speed. Okay, understood. Um, let's just put it on to three times speed. There we go. New prisoners. Every day you will receive new prisoners who will arrive on the bus from the uh, from the prison. The bus from the prison. They've come from a prison to a prison. Okay, your goal as head of the prison is to ensure they are rehabilitated as soon as possible from their disorders so that upon reintegration into society, they will be healthy and happy people. That sounds lovely. And uh, let's not forget that running a prison is a business, so economically speaking, you'll receive a sum of monies when a new prisoner arrives, and you will also receive a daily sum of money for each prisoner that you house. Okay. And if you rehabilitate all prison disorders before they complete their sentence, you get a bonus for rehabilitation. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so who do we have? And do we need some staff? Because we've got nobody here. Hang on a minute, hang on. Staff. We have no staff. How do we hire staff? <laughs> uh, hire. There we go. I mean, we're going to need some maintenance people. And we're going to need some guards, I would have thought. 
I mean, they're kind of important, really. Hang on, can we get a guard? Um, okay, right, hang on. Who do we want to get? Have they all got their own sort of stats and things like that? So you are, for example, Gloria, age 30. I'm not used to working in a place like this. Working here is a dream for me. I'm writing a fiction novel in my spare time. Salary is 5 10 a month, 3000 to hire, and your efficiency is pretty high up. Um, okay. If it's if it's a dream for you, then do you know what? Who am I to deny you a dream, Gloria? Let's have you, and you... Pause time for a second. You can go in just there. Hello. Right. Is, is this what we want? Does the guard do stuff? I don't know. They've just sort of seen themselves into this sort of prison holding cell. And then Gloria is... Gloria is just sort of wandering about the place. Do we need another person? I mean, who, who looks after these desks? Who looks after this? <laughs> um, a desk used tirelessly by the always reliable cardboard guard. The cardboard guard isn't there. <laughs> They've left their post. They've been taken away and shredded or something. I don't know what's happened to the always reliable cardboard guard. Maybe we don't need to care about this bit. Maybe this bit is something that we don't need to worry about. The cardboard guards do their job over here and we only need guards over here. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, and let's hire a maintenance person. Okay. Um, Fernando, Caitlin. As a worker, I really care about details. I worked in a prison a long time ago. My brother also works in a prison. Yeah, you sound good. We'll hire you. Let's pop you over there. You can do some maintenance on things. There you go. You go and maintain things. That's all good. And now we just need one more prisoner. We've still got loads of money. We've got loads of money. Um, build one divan therapy room. Not entirely sure what that is. Divan, divan's like a kind of a, a seat, isn't it? Like a sofa type thing. Um, okay, so how about we build ourselves a new sort of building? I think, where can we put... Maybe the infirmary can go here, because that would be sensible. So put the infirmary here, and then have food somewhere else, and then have therapy somewhere else. Because food surely requires a kitchen and uh, like a dining area. I'm guessing. I'm kind of guessing that. Oh, they're going to go and maintain something. Um, they're going to fulfill a maintenance request. Okay, hang on. So the cleaner is doing some cleaning. What do we do with you? I'm a bit confused as to what we do with you. Assign set. Oh, hang on. Do we need to assign you to a cell? Oh, hang on. Right, hang on. Yeah, right. We might need to do something with the prisoner. I kind of thought the cardboard guards would do all this stuff. Okay, so this person here is Aja. Aya, uh, they found a Fabergé egg in their pocket. Oh my goodness me, what are the chances? Must just fall and right on in there. They have no known family, and hopefully in time, you will be more honest with us. Okay, so they're happy. They've got a lot of health. They're not fighty at all. However, they do have a couple of disorders. They are an alcoholic. Okay, right, so they like a drink. Um, so how do we assign them to a cell? No prisoner assigned. Um... Do we just drag them? Do you, can we just click and drag them? Let's have a go, shall we? Prisoner, where are you? Click and drag. Yes, we do. Okay, we're assigning you to that cell there. Okay, they enter the prison with certain personality disorders. As we've seen, they like a drink. You can review the disorders of a prisoner by selecting them with the mouse. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, review the detail panel. Okay, to re rehabilitate them, you must evaluate which is the therapy that best suits them. And once you have the room for that therapy, and with therapy staff assigned, you can assign the prisoner to go to perform that therapy every day. Okay, ah, right. Here we go. So there, oh my goodness me, there are many, many things. So divan therapy is slightly effective at treating everything. So it looks like there is, I mean, I don't know what that is just there. That looks like alcoholic. That's possibly anger or something, like anger issues. That's like a split personality. I can't see what that is. That's addicted to gambling. Not quite sure what that is. Uh, fast? Addicted to speeding? That might be they're addicted to the internet. That's some sort of a cult thing. And that's a pyromania, I can't imagine. Okay, right. All sorts of interesting people coming in. So what is the best thing to treat the, the drinking problem? It looks like... Hang on, it's up here. It's up here. Art therapy. Very effective at treating that. Can we build an art therapy room? That sounds fun. That sounds like a nice thing to have. Right, I think... We need to have another block over here. We need another building over here. Let's have that for food. So pop that into existence. Right, and that can be the door just there. Oh, connect it up to the power grid. Yep, there we go. 
New prestige level? Okay, by plugging in that room, we've got a new prestige level. We can now have a gym, a library, art therapy. Okay, that was perfectly timed. Reading therapy, virtual reality therapy. Yeah, these are all the very daft therapies. Sensory deprivation therapy, tabletop games therapy. That sounds brilliant. Gardening, polygraph, zero gravity, dancing, and Tesla therapy. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's a Tesla coil. Is that is that allowed? Okay, fine. That seems a little bit kind of crazy, but right you are. Right, there we go. So the starting land of the prison is very small, so we need to expand. Yep, yep, got that. Thank you, pop-up help. Right, I think what we'll do is we've got that common building. Let's get another one set up just here. Oh no, oh no, we can't, we can't have it that big. Right, hang on a minute. Can we expand the size of this? Come out of that. Can we make that bigger? Actions. Edit. Yeah, let's just make this huge. Let's just make that another huge building. A construction grid isn't finished until you turn on all the lights and throw a nice opening party. But do not, uh, do not forget to hook up your construction to the electricity grid. Yep, yeah, okey dog. Building electrical wiring has never been easier. Just connect it up. Yeah, okay. I think we're fine with that. I think that was plugged in. We are using a bit of energy, however. So at some point, we are going to have to look at that. Uh, okay, so over here on this side, I'd still like to get some more doors. I'd like a door just there. How do we put doors in? There must be a way where we can just put a door into a place. It's got to be. Hang on, if we just click here... Can we put that's insertable rooms? Uh, insertable objects. There we go. Right, so pop a door just there. And then can we put a door over this side as well? I know it's not part of that building. Yeah, there we go. That makes life a bit easier for people, doesn't it? Right, and then over in this corner here, let's get our divan therapy room in because that's one of our goals. So where's that? Staff room, amenities room. Uh, divan therapy, the most basic of all the therapies. Okay. Let's not make it a huge room. Let's make it... In fact, hang on a minute, hang on. Come out of that. If that door's just there, we could put the divan therapy room kind of in front of that and then have a bit of a walkway running down there and then a walkway in the middle because I want the dining room to be sort of over here so therapy can go over there. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll try and make it work. I'm sure it'll all be fine. So if we put that going in... Like that, it doesn't need to be huge. It does not need to be huge at all. So let's have that going in. Hang on then. So if we have a dining room, they're all built in squares, aren't they? So a dining room like that and a kitchen like that. Yeah, we're going to have to put this on this side, I think. So pop that. And yeah, we could put it down here, actually. Put that there. And then what do we need? We need the desk where the, um, the whatever they are, the, the expert is going to sit. And then we have the divan chair. <laughs> That's quite nice. I like that. And then we need to connect it up to the grid. Let's just run it down to there. Marvellous. Okay, so that room now needs a rehab specialist. Okie doke. Uh, ooh, prison policy. Hang on, pause time there for a second game. Prison policies. Defining the schedule of your prison will affect the routines of the staff and prisoners. Don't forget that you can record custom PA system messages for different events. I can? What? What do you mean I can record things? What do you mean? No. Surely not. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Can we record something for the start of the day? Oh, hang on. We have to play with this. Right, so record custom message. Hang on. How is this going to work then? So if I press that and just speak, and then it records it. Hang on. Well, let's give this a go, shall we? Okay, so it brings up a recorder. Oh, obviously, I have a microphone because you can hear my voice. So, okay. I mean, what do you want to say? What's it for? The start of the day. Hang on then. Hello, lovely prisoners, and welcome to another day in prison. Have a lovely, fun, productive day, and remember, please behave. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to just play back my own voice, which is all a bit weird, but okay. Is that is that done? So now we just sort of come out of that, and then at the start of the day, it's going to play my own voice across the prison. <laughs> that's brilliant. That is, that's very good. That's very exciting. Hang on, we need to see that it worked. How can we tell that it worked? Can, can we go and play that? Um, hang on, yeah, hang on a minute, does it work? Hello, lovely prisoners, and welcome to another day in prison. Have a lovely, fun, productive day, and remember, please behave. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is completely brilliant. Okay, right, I'm sold, I'm sold. This is a wonderful game because you can record your own voice on a prison tannoy. Okay, that's very good. 
I like that. Um, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, there's some sort of schedule or something. I'm not really overly bothered, to be honest. <laughs> I've just got, I've got our own voice. Okay, that's that's wonderful. I do like that. Um, okay, right, hang on. All this stuff looks fine. Therapy hours. Let's have an extra... Oh, we kind of have an extra hour of therapy, unfortunately. No, that's fine. Therapy in the morning. So wake up, you know, brand new day ahead. Get your, get your head sorted for that coming day. And then in the afternoon, hopefully people can be a little bit more sort of productive and such. Right, we need to hire a therapist. Okay, there are many, many therapists. I'd rather hire one that doesn't look quite so cross. This one here looks a little bit cross. Oh, hang on, your efficiency was rubbish. Oh yeah, no, that's not good. Can we have someone who doesn't look furious? You look sort of okay. Oh, but your efficiency isn't very good. Your efficiency is very good. And you have a wonderful kind of very thin moustache. I've been unemployed for some time. I'm sure I'm going to do a great job. I do a lot of exercise. I care a lot about fitness. Do we care about that? I've wanted to work in a place like that. Oh no, your efficiency is not very good. Hang on. My previous job was also in a prison. When do I start? I have two younger sisters. Okay. 341. I mean, do we need to see your qualifications? <laughs> um, oh, you're called Pepper. I was in prison for a while, so I know a bit about how they work. Okay, when you say you're in prison, do you mean you worked in a prison? Or you were actually, you know, locked away in a prison? I'm quite good when it comes to work. My brother also works in a prison. Okay. Um, I have an older sister who's famous. I was in prison for a while. <laughs> I don't know if this is encouraging or not. It's my first job, so I'm very well prepared. I take great care to always be punctual. I'm passionate about music. I go to concerts wherever I can. Maybe if we can move you, when we get the music therapy room, we can put him in there. I then let's get you. So Zaire, possibly, let's get you. Let's hire you. Oh, hang on a minute. What? No, Zaire, where have you gone? Come back, Zaire. We want to hire you. There we go. Right, pop you into there. So hire for one and a half grand. There we go. He now works for us. And now... I imagine at some point in the morning, they're going to go and have therapy. Right, hang on a second. So now we need to assign you to... Do we just drag and drop you into there as well? So no therapy assigned. There we go. Divan therapy. Right, you magically appear in there. And now you're just going to have a nice sit, sit down, a nice chat. Here you go, look. Have a lovely sit down. You can chat to Zaya with amazing hair. So yeah, his hair is absolutely wonderful. Look at that. And um, oh, look at that. They're losing their... They're losing their disorder. They're kind of slowly getting over it. It's, it's diminishing. It's depleting down into nothingness. They didn't have that much of a disorder. They were sort of okay. They did. They fancied a drink, but not too bad. There you go. So he's been rehabilitated. We now get 1,462 of the money because he's been sorted out. That is excellent. Okay. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Right. So got a bit of time until another prisoner arrives. How about we put, oh, there's a shadow of an aeroplane. We can't look up, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Um, how about we put some lovely decorative items down? There's got to be some nice outdoor. There we go. So we can put, we can put an outdoor gym in. I'm thinking like trees and benches and things. Um, yeah. How about over here, just put, I mean, is there like a little bed of flowers? Yeah, a bush. Can we put down um, oh, you have to go on either side of that bush. Oh, no, that's that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking it was like a bed that we could put up against the side of the wall. Oh, there's a gnome. There's a gnome. Oh, my goodness me. Yes, okay, I want the garden gnome. A cactus. Let's put a cactus uh, just there, because why not? And then we'll put a bench next to the cactus. There we go. A little outside seating area. Okay, rose pot. It says having well-placed parking entrances and a beautiful garden will increase the happiness among staff and prisoners. I mean, it's not a beautiful garden. It's certainly a bit of green. I don't know if it counts as a beautiful garden quite yet. And let's have another bench. We'll have another bench just um, there, like so. Is that in line with that one? Yes, it is. There you go, look. They're having a little sit down already. This is wonderful. And then, can we get a big tree? A palm tree. That's not... Crikey. Okay, the palm trees need quite a big footprint on them. Okay, the palm tree... <laughs> the palm trees are huge. I was hoping that we could just just have a big, like, palm tree next there. But but no, evidently we can't do that. Um, how about, hang on a minute. How did I not see the sunflower? Oh, we're having a sunflower. Absolutely, 100%. Let's have multiple sunflowers. There we go. A couple of sunflowers. In fact, let's put them like that. 
That looks nice. I assume we've just completed a goal of some sort that we can't quite see yet. But there we go. Right, increase the prison population. Okay, so we need to let time run on a bit. Come out of that. Build one dining room and one staff room. Okay, makes perfect sense. Ah, right. We've got some more prisoners. Okay, so who is coming in? Anyone coming in? Are you coming in? I don't know. They're taking a long time getting off the bus. Come on, get off the bus, whoever you might be. Right, new prisoner. Hello, welcome aboard. Right, okay, can we click on you? Not yet. Right, now we can. Okay, so this is pet. What? What? <laughs> What do you mean it's Peng? Uh, are you sure you've not missed a letter off the end there? Um, right. Okay. I mean, you could say this is us. I mean, they're a bit younger than me. And they certainly, they've got a beard. I don't have a beard. Um, you know, I, 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 my hair is not that colour. It's kind of attempting to be that style. It's a bit greyer these days. But he tried to steal the beard of a Santa Claus in department store. But the beard turned out to be real. Yeah, that, that is a, there's a hazard of doing that particular thing. His brother called asking how he was. He will see if he can find healthier ways to enjoy life. Okay, so Peng here, <laughs> which is brilliant. Uh, he hasn't got a cell. Uh, he's got, he's a sociopath and he's an alcoholic. Okay, right. This is, this is, this is good. Right, we'll put you there. You can go next door to the person that's been rehabilitated. That's lovely. And they've got no therapy assigned. So over to there you go. Go and enjoy some therapy, please. And then hopefully they can try and work on those things. Okay, right. So now we've got 85 grand. How are we doing in terms of prestige? We're about halfway to level three, which obviously will unlock even more exciting things. I think we might need to expand a little bit. I'm thinking we buy this plot of land here for 10,000 of our money. Let's do that. So yes, please, 10 grand. And it just comes in from the sky. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, like, you know, sort of, uh, you know, machinery to come in and dig things. But no, magic thing comes in from the sky. All the sort of walls and stuff have been reattached and what have you. Okay, now I've got a bit more room to play with. So we need a dining room, a staff room, and an infirmary. I was thinking the infirmary could go here. Let's get an infirmary in, shall we? I think it was under essential rooms. Yeah, so infirmary, pop that just there. We'll have the door just there. That is some sort of, what's that, like a medical, like a counter or something. Okay, so you go there, you go to the pharmacist, um, and then we've got this. Now, that is going to require the screen to work. So can we have a couple of these? What else do we need in this room? Okay, right, connect that up to some power. That will do. Okay, now can we have, oh, there's all sorts of things in here. Oh, there's all sorts of exciting things. Um, a filing cabinet? Oh, I, li I like additional things. Hang on a minute. A short filing cabinet can go by the door and then we can have weighing scales. They can go by the door just there. And then, um, yes, I know it needs a medical person. Away with you, human resources. <laughs> Silence. Right, and then, can we tuck that into that corner? Yes, we can have two beds. Okay, what else can we put in here? We can put in sofas. We can put in bin things. Oh, magazine rack. Yes. Okay. A magazine rack it is. Let's get one of those in. We'll pop that next to the scales because why wouldn't we? Um, a plant? Yes. Oh, this is great. Oh, there's so many decorative things. There we go. Lovely plant. Um, a fire extinguisher. I kind of feel like that might be a useful thing to have. Um, the other thing is, does it, would it go well there? I assume they can walk around. I assume they can walk around and go through that gap. Okay. That is brilliant. Um, and... I think that'll do. Oh, a clock. Oh, I like this. Yeah, a clock. That'll do the job quite nicely. Okay, and now, of course, yes, I know medical staff then. Okay, who wants to be the uh, the first medic here? Maybe not this person. They look a little bit a little bit sort of green around the gills. Um, okay, you, Lorenzo. I'm used to working in front of the public and deal with conflictive people. I think I'm a good worker. I don't have any siblings. Oh, your efficiency is a bit, it's a bit medium. You, Yasmin. I left a job I didn't like to try something different. I'm always available. I like reading a lot, especially fantasy literature. You're in. Absolutely. Come on in. Work over here. Heal your prisoners in the infirmary. Okay. So now one of our goals is to buy 1,000 power. Okay. Hang on. Where's that? Uh, oh, grants. So we've got grants over here. Oh, that's these things. Ah, okay. Right. So we're ticking off quite a few of these. 
but there are an awful lot more of them. Okay, right, there's loads. Um, resources. Do we buy power? Oh, we can buy these things here. I imagine at some point we can generate our own power and water and we can, I don't know, grow our own food or whatever. But right now we have to buy some. So buy 1,000 power. I mean, we do have quite a lot of money. Let's, let's go to <laughs> the totally safe nuclear plant to buy 1,250 power. Flux Industries, three and a half thousand. Biff's Energy for 2,000. Globex, it's only 1,000. Or Earth Drainer, I don't want to go there. Um, I, I quite like to buy something from the totally safe nuclear plant. I know it's a bit expensive for what we get, but I just like the name. So yeah, okay, there we go. We'll buy some power, please. I don't quite know where we put the power. In a battery somewhere, I would guess. I do not know. Um, okay, so we've done that. Buy 100 water. Um, do you know what? Buying, stocking up on things isn't so bad. So, Castilla's Waters, Water White Company, Waterloo Supplies. Definitely not Swamp Water, I imagine that says. Or Seventeen's Waters. Let's go for Waterloo Supplies. 560 water. We'll make sure we've got loads of it. So, yes, please. There we go. So, meet that goal. Buy one pack of food supplies from <laughs> McRonald's, Burger Prince, Meals R Us, Taco Gong, or Cosmos Meals. <laughs> Let's buy them from Meals R Us, because that's lots of meals. Yes, please. McRonald's. Okay, and I imagine the next one is going to be buy some medicine. Buy one pack of medical supplies, Delta Lance, Oscar's Flasks, Wound Patches, Yellow Cross, or Ac Medicine. I like the idea of Wound Patches. They sound good. 15 grand for one pack of medical supplies. That's quite expensive, but yeah, okay. We'll invest in that, please. There we go. Oh my goodness me. Right, so you can buy the resources in or you can make them yourself. Okay, so we've bought some things in, but of course we have nowhere for people to eat. So we've got food. We just bought a load of food from whoever we got it from, from Food or Us, whatever it was, but we have no dining room. So nobody can actually eat the food. And I noticed there that, um, that Peng, Penge there, was a little bit hungry. They had a little tiny sort of, oh, there, like that, like a sort of a plate and a knife and fork up here over their head. So obviously implying that they are a bit peckish. So how about then, why don't we make this block a therapy block? And then why don't we have, how much money have we got? 51 grand. Why don't we go over here then? I was thinking we could have the food bit over here. 10 grand, that would leave us with 40, well, 41 grand. But I'm thinking, do you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to expand over here. Wee down it comes. <laughs> I do like that. That's fun. And then we'll build ourselves the uh, the food bit over here. So how about we keep, let's keep this bit, keep that as a sort of walkway through the middle. So we'll have buildings this side and buildings this side. So let's get us a nice sort of dining area like that. So we'll have a sort of a dining block. So put the door in there and connect that up to some power. Let's connect it up like so. Okay, wonderful. How near are we to level three? Not quite there yet. Okay, and then a dining room where prisoners eat during their meal shifts. Okay, so does this make an actual room? And then, hang on, do we need a kitchen? Is there a kitchen? Does somebody serve them their food? I don't think so. Okay, dining room. Let's get a, uh, let's get a dining room in. The doors overlap. What does that mean? Oh! Oh, right, okay. No, I see. I get it. That's fine. Um, what we'll do is we just have the dining room like that. Cutting the room. What does that mean? What do you mean, cutting the room? I don't know what that means. Uh, we'll just have that. Hang on, not like that then, because that seems like a terrible idea. From the corner, pop that to there. We'll have quite a big dining room for now, and we'll put that like that. It's a shame you can't have the doors just going straight in. You're going to have to go into one room to go into another room. Right, and then we've got ourselves... This sort of service area. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then, of course, tables where they're going to go and sit and eat. Okay, let's have uh, let's have a table. Let's not have the door being blocked. So let's have a table like that. And then uh, a place to go. Ah, that's where they put their stuff when they're done. That's where they put their sort of uh, plates and stuff. We'll put that by the door. Okay, right. Let's have another door at this end, like so. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have a window. I don't know how wise it is to have a window in a prison, but there we go. We've got one now. Um, and a leftovers trolley. That can go... Oh, hang on. We've already got some of those. There's one there. So we'll put that there. And then we'll have... How about some more over there as you leave? So you can put things on there as you sort of you know, depart the room. And then... Oh, 
A dining room trolley, trolley with different spices and condiments? Well, that sounds very extravagant. Um, yeah, okay, we'll have, we'll have a couple of them. Why not? Let's throw a couple of those in. And then let's get another serving counter, because I think that might be a good idea. And then for now, just one more table. Just pop that there. There we go. Wonderful. So dining room is done. So now hopefully we should see people popping over to have some food. Um, that does need a bit of cleaning. Now I am a bit wary of our money. Have to be a tiny bit wary of money because we have just spent a load of it on expanding the prison out a bit. And we expanded here and didn't build into it, which was a little bit silly, but never mind, never mind, it's fine. Um, okay, so it wants us to get to 10, 10 new prisoners. We've had one. We need an amenities room and a staff room. Okay, so I think that's going to be good for another another cell. So we don't want to use that. This could be for staff. That could be for staff. Or oh, we build a staff room just here. And this little bit just here, that would work. So I think maybe the staff room and the amenity room could go into the same sort of block, if you like. So let's get us another building shell type thing outlined here. Uh, minimum size is 60. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it's got to be four. Okay, we can't have it like that. So hang on a minute. The minimum size has to be four, does it? It has to be four by four. Yeah, you can't have anything smaller than four by four. Bother. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, just build a building right there. Um, can we make this building go away? <laughs> we don't want this building here. Um, hang on. Actions. Sell. Well, we can sell the building. Okay, let's do that then. We get 224. Yeah, I imagine that just cost us a bit of money. But there we go. Boom, it's gone away. Marvellous. Um, okay, okay. Never mind. Let's have our staff room over here then. Let's put it over here. Let's build our building like this. And yeah, it's going to get in the way of this path over here. But we're going to have to do that, I think. I think that's just going to have to happen, isn't it? So it can go like that. And then the utilities room. Unless, hang on a minute, hang on. Could we just have all of our rooms along here and then just have like a nice... Just outside, like gardens and stuff along here. That might be quite nice. Hang on, we can have a gym outside, can't we? Hang on, hang on. How can we build a gym? How big can a gym be? That can be three wide. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. So around the edge here can just be lovely sort of plant stuff around the front. And then we'll have all our buildings at the back. Yes, perfect. Okay, right, great building. Um, Let's have another building here. Hang on, no, no, not there, not there. Let's have it over here. Let's put it here. So build our new building like that. How much is that going to cost? 2,300. Okay, so we'll have... Drag out. 2,009. That's fine. That's fine. We can cope with that. Um, pop a door just there. And then connect it up to the grid. Wonderful. And then in here, get us... Um, hang on. Not insertable rooms. Uh, there you go. Door at that end as well. And you know what? We'll put a door at that end too. Yay for the doors. And then... Where is the staff room? Uh, library, visitor centre. Probably do need a visitor centre at some point. Staff room, there we go. And then an amenities room. Carry out all kinds of entertainment activities. Prisoners will come here to satisfy their leisure needs. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to be where we we're going to put things to generate power and what have you. But okay, right. So a staff room. Let's just have it like that. Seven grand. Put a door in. And then we've just got... Yeah, I, I suspect I might be making my room slightly too big, but here we go. <laughs> this this room is huge. You know what? It'll be fine. When we've got loads of staff, it's going to be brilliant. Okay, so we have ourselves a staff room. We get paid a bit of money for that, which is quite welcome. Um, There's a work happy poster. Do you know what? Let's put that in right now. Relatively expensive for a poster, but it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. There we go. I mean, yeah, that, that room is too big. That room is way too big. It's fine. It's fine. I think that's looking good. That's looking very good. So I think next is build the amenity room and then an isolation cell. And then we just need to get prisoners in. So we need to run time on quite a bit because I don't think we've actually run time on very much. We've not actually you know, had that much going on because it's been paused because we've been building and such. Um, there is quite a bit of empty space. We'll fill that up. I think maybe here we could put the amenity room. We could put the sort of leisure activities room. That would be good. Staff room over here. And then fill that up with other staff-related things. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, I think, yeah, we'll finish up for now. But things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good over here in the cupboard prison. So, yeah, we'll have ourselves out here at the front. 
nice sort of rows of flowers and such. And then at the back, we can just have the buildings and all the cells and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what we'll do. I think that's the plan. We could do with a little bit more money because we are spending quite a bit. In fact, income, oh no, we're not. Income, 1,950. Expenses, 1,549. So actually not too bad. And if we were to get another prisoner in, that would help as well. That would help a great deal. So yeah, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. So we'll come back to this. I like this. This is all quite lighthearted and relaxed and fun and I like placing all the things down. I mean, yeah, our rooms are way too big. <laughs> the rooms are absolutely vast and huge. It, it's okay. It's a geek cupboard thing. That's what we do. We just, you know, we overdo things. We overcook it to start with and then we learn our lesson eventually at some point. But Joe, yeah, it's looking good. We'll finish up. We'll come back next time and just see how we get on. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Prison Tycoon under new management. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. 